storms to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3, weather coverage you can count on. Welcome back in TGIF, everyone. That's right, it is Friday. We've got a fantastic weekend coming up, but you'll note that this Friday happens to be a little cloudier and a little cooler than what we experienced, say, our Thursday, where the sun was shining bright. We did see some sunshine, though, in Albert Lee's. I pushed time forward here. Beautiful sunrise, despite the fact that there was some cloud cover there for a moment. We got plenty of sun, but then as we started to enter into the early afternoon, and now here we are with cloudier skies over Albert Lee. That will be the continuing trend for a lot of us as we get into the later afternoon here and even into the early evening before those clouds simply go away. More on that in a moment. Right now, it is 39 degrees in Albert Lee. Yes, that is a big difference from yesterday, but it is still above average. It is almost at 40 degrees, and I don't think we can complain. 39 is not too bad. 44 and 46 across North Iowa. Some great temperatures there, no doubt. In Rochester, we're at 38. Got to factor in the winds. I did want to show the wind chills. It feels like 29 on any exposed skin right now in Rochester. Feels like 31 in Albert Lee. Not as bad in places like Charles City, sitting at a 40 degree wind chill, but it is still something to note, especially because I know a lot of us are itching to get back outside. So if you're going for a walk this afternoon, yes, you'll need a coat. Probably not a bad idea to have a hat, maybe the gloves as well, especially if you plan on being there for the whole four hours stretch that we've got. Cloudy skies, winds not too bad, just around that 10 to 15 mile per hour mark. Again, pushing down those 30s to make things feel a little cooler. But of course, the big announcement, if you have plans to head to Peace Plaza in downtown Rochester Day to enjoy Social Ice kicking off at 4 p.m. Temperatures, not terrible, but they are going to drop off quick, especially once that sun sets. By 10 p.m. as things are wrapping up, we're back into the 20s. That's a little bit more like what's normal for this time of the year, the reminder that we're still here in February. Moving over to satellite and radar, and we are starting to see the clouds, as I mentioned, just continuing to move on in from the north. There's still that possibility that some of these flurries could get across the river there, and we could see a few of those flakes fly our way. Generally, it will be mostly dry across the area as this cold front continues to move southward. That's what's bringing the clouds, that's what's bringing the coolness, and allowing for a few of those flurries to manifest. Sky Tracker 3 actually picks up on a few possible spots as we get later into this afternoon. This is around 2 p.m. All of this kind of part of the general rotation that we're seeing here. The bigger concern is, of course, the cooler temperatures we're experiencing. These winds coming in almost straight from the north by 4 p.m. By 6 p.m., we start to see some evidence of breaking apart. By 9 p.m., those clouds may melt away and it really sets the stage for an excellent weekend as the sunshine returns. That's going to warm us up back into the 40s for Saturday, upper 40s near 50 for Sunday. And yeah, that's that's not a typo, my friends. We could be breaking records once again as we kick off the new work week. It's here on the seven day forecast where the weekend is always in view. So not a bad thing with these cooler temperatures here right now, Annalise, mm -hmm. because that is what's going to make social ice a little more enjoyable, not as much melting, but then by next week, it all melts. <laughs> gotta protect those ice sculptures. Yes, they're so cool looking too. Mm -hmm. We got a nice preview earlier on. I'm looking so much forward to being there later today and seeing everything in action. Yeah, it's a place to be. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Sarah. Mm -hmm.